yo, 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 yo. What's up? It's Cartier, back with another video. Uh, today, we are going to make this thing in FL Studio and, uh, and a couple other things. So yeah, let's go. Everything you can do in this video is free, but there is like some other programs that I'll link to make it a little bit easier and some like furthering education stuff I'll throw in at the end. So just keep that in mind. We can do everything with free products. You're welcome. Okay, so basically what it is, is it's a sound wave visualized with this thing called a vector scope. So basically the, the vector scope takes the sound wave from like the left channel of your ear and the right channel of your ear and it finds whatever point the thingy lines up with i don't a hundred percent understand it but i do think it looks cool <laughs> and so i'm going to show you how to do it not a whole lot of planning went into this uh no script for this video um and and yeah yeah let's uh let's figure out how to do this okay so first you're gonna want to make sure uh you know what you want to draw for the design, obviously. So um, if you're if you're gifted in in the the arts uh, and you can draw, then I'd say sketch up a little design on your paper on like a on a piece of paper. Um, I tried that. I am not gifted in drawing, so I opted for the the printout print out a piece of paper option um and then i got some little tape i have i only had price tags so i'm using price tags to stick it to my computer screen but you're going to want to have you're going to have paper with a logo on it and some sort of tape or adhesive to stick to your screen so get those materials now Okay, great. Now that you have those materials, um, we're gonna go to this website called Oscilloscope Graphics Editor. Fantastic website, shout out whoever made it. I'll try to find information on them and link them in the bio. Um, so yeah, this is a great website. It, uh, it allows you to draw um, with... <laughs> With sound but it's really loud so turn off your audio uh, I'd say turn off your speakers or just right click and then uh, mute site okay so uh, now I'm going to record this with my phone so you see what I'm doing okay so I'm going to take uh, this piece of paper that says Cartier on it and I'm gonna set it on my screen like so it's hard to do this with one hand but you get the point um, and and then I'm just kind of apply that adhesive Ooh, close enough just make sure it's tight enough that you can kind of see the background of the screen um, and then you're ready for the next step okay so with that done uh, and your paper adhesivized on the screen. Um, you're gonna wanna go over with your little cursor and uh, start tracing the paper that's uh, that's out there. So just go around all of the uh, all of the little edges. Uh, another thing I'd recommend is that you kind of make all the edges touch. It'll just make it look smoother on the way out.
dang it. Okay, so once you've got that drawn out, uh, you're just going to go in here and change this A2 to F1. It'll just be a lower hertz rate, um, better for listening. Uh, and then go ahead and save this stereo file, this button right here. And you should get a wave file pop up down here. Okay, so the next step, uh, if you are already a music producer, you can skip this. I'll put a timestamp. Um, but we're going to download uh, some music software. So uh, my favorite program, personally, and what I'm experienced in uh, is FL Studio. So I'm going to show you how to download that, and we're going to work through it through FL. Uh, but if you, can, if you use another program, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. You'll just put it in a, a sampler track. Um, I'm assuming you know what that means if, if you're the intended audience of this. Uh, so yeah, let me show anybody who doesn't have music stuff how to get FL Studio. Okay, so uh, first thing you're going to want to do is look up FL Studio download. And I will put a link in the description uh, just in case. This is it. Okay. and then click download and then pick whatever operating system you have and then download that so it's probably gonna ask you a bunch of questions like where do you want to install things but blah, blah, blah. just click OK or if you're if you're really interested um, probably look up a YouTube video on like how to download FL Studio, FL Studio Basics, something like that. Um, and you should be covered. It's not that hard. Um, I believe in you. Um, okay, but once you're in FL Studio, should look like this. Okay, so when you first load up FL Studio, if this is your first time, you're probably going to want to click File, New from Template, and then go Minimal, Empty. And that'll just give you a blank project. So that's this is kind of what you want it to look like. Um, and if it doesn't look like this, and you're freaking out and you're scared, look up a video. Um, but it should be pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, so now we're going to add that stereo sample in that we just downloaded from the the website. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm gonna go to files on my computer and then grab that stereo file and drag that in on top of this sampler. So now if we press the buttons, we get a little blip sound. Um, but that sound is what you drew in audio, I think. So with that information, um, we're going to want to see it, obviously. So a great way to do that is if you go to the mixer tab, which is right here with these little drag knob things. Um, and then on the master channel, we're going to want to add in a, um, a visualizer. So go to slot one, left click, and then go to Z game editor visualizer. This down here at the very, very bottom under visual and just click that. Okay. So now, we need to bring in the, the vector scope, which is like the thing that's going to allow us to visualize that audio that we just took from the internet. So in order to do that, uh, we're going to have to change this preset from none to vector scope, which is right here. So look for that. And then if you want to uh, go ahead and click a key, you'll kind of see your uh, your design popping up, but it's not holding long enough. Um, so in order to fix that, I found this little workaround. Um, if you go to channel rack again, so this button up here with the, with the columns, and then oh, let me minimize this, and then click on the, uh, the box where it says stereo 14, and then uh, you're gonna want to turn on loop points. So down in this playback section here, you're gonna want to click loop points, and then drag this crossfade uh, knob up a very, very tiny bit until you get these red lines. So now, if we go back to our visualizer, 
um, make sure this is selected so just click this uh, this little button right here and then click uh, any key on your keyboard and hold it it uh, it'll play the full animation for much longer now immediately I think that's pretty cool looking um, but if you'd like to add some automation to it and uh, get it to fully show through we're gonna have to automate the uh, the pitch of the sample so that it has a higher frequency um, and that's just some sound terms you don't need to know okay so in order to do that uh, we're just gonna click on this the stereo 14 again um, and then go to this pitch button right here and we're gonna change the range to like 40 I think that's right and then um, you can press on a key on your keyboard and then slowly drag the the knob up until you fully see your design and I can see it right there um, and then if if you want to be real fancy uh, you can draw out a note and then automate the pitch which is what I did uh, for for my intro we need to make sure that it's got a sustaining uh, note the whole time so that we can capture the video so in order to do that um, we're gonna right click on the the sample right here and then go to piano roll which is this first one uh, make sure you right click um, and then I'm gonna click C6 or you can pick any note you'd like um, we just need to drag one out and then uh, scroll scroll out with control and then roll your mouse wheel down and then I'm gonna drag this note out to the line that says five on it right here so the fourth bar um, and then if I click the space bar it'll show up in my my visual editor so there you go um, and now if you wanna if you wanna tweak the have it come in slower and then form to be faster you can do that too uh, so in order to do that you're gonna wanna go back to um, your sound your sample and then uh, right click on this pitch button and then click create automation clip and then we're gonna go into the playlist which is this button right here uh, the first one on the left uh, and then go to the the keyboard button over here patterns and then drag this in right here so I left clicked twice click once and then placed it and then I'm gonna drag this automation clip out and then I'm gonna drag this slider to about here looks about right and then drag this one all the way down so if you play it now it should kind of sweep uh, make sure this is selected as song and not pattern and then click. okay so now if you want to render that out we can go ahead and go to the mixer tab and then let's go back to our master channel and click on the Z game editor again uh, and then we're gonna click export video right here and then save your file and there you go that's your full animation alright so I was going through editing the video and I realized I left a couple notes out um, so this was like a short frame video to get people into vector scopes I have no idea if this video is gonna perform well because it's kind of like a niche topic um, but if you'd like to see more, definitely DM me on Instagram at Cartier, three eyes, two R's, or drop it in the comments. Um, just to let me know if like you all are actually interested in learning this stuff. Because there's a big, big world out there that you can use with all these vector scopes and oscilloscopes. Uh, and I'll drop some cool software in the description too if you're, if you're interested in exploring on your own. Um, but yeah, it's like a whole new world. Other than that, send me... Uh, send me your work if it was good or if it was bad and need some help feel free to DM me um, and and yeah like subscribe all the YouTube stuff and um, stay tuned I'll see y'all soon peace